Have you ever wondered why medical marijuana has become such a prominent medicinal substance in today's society? According to ProCon.org, the use of cannabis for medicinal purposes predates recorded history. The first reference was found all the way back in the 15th century BC. I would like to inform you about the two fundamental chemical compounds that make up cannabis buds and their healing properties as well. These two com compounds are known as THC and CBD. Tetrahydrocannabinoil, which is more commonly referred to as THC, is a crystalline compound that is the main active ingredient in cannabis. This chemical compound is what is responsible for most of the psychological effects cannabis has on the brain. Naturally, our bodies produce chemicals known as cannabinoids. According to NECA, the National, Drug in National Institute on Drug Abuse, humans have cannabinoid receptors in certain areas of our brain, and THC attaches to these and stimulates them. Some effects that THC has on the body include releasing the neurotransmitter known as dopamine, which is what's responsible for making us happy. This can create a sense of euphoric state, and marijuana can last for around two hours, and it takes around 10 minutes to kick in. Now that we've talked about marijuana's psychological effects, let's move on to THC's medicinal properties. Some health problems that THC can help with include low appetite, insomnia, muscle spasms, and glaucoma. Like all medications though, whether they are pharmaceutical or herbal, cannabis can also have some negative side effects on people. These include red eyes, dry mouth, and memory loss. Now that we have discussed the main points of THC, we will now move on to the next chemical compound that has medicinal purposes. Cannabin oil, which is known as CBD, is the second most common chemical compound found in marijuana. This differs from THC because it has no psychological effects on the brain at all. However, it does have a significant amount of medicinal purposes. The most popular it has been known to treat are different forms of epilepsy, including certain syndromes that pharmaceuticals do not treat very well. Another thing that CBD treats is chronic pain, known as inflammatory and neuropathic, which are the two most difficult types of pain to treat. Although they are different chemicals, THC and CBD do have some things in common. They both help with different variations of pain and anxiety. With marijuana already replacing certain pharmaceuticals, I believe that it could one day be the most popular form of medication amongst the general public. Now that I have explained the two main chemical compounds that make up cannabis and both of their medicinal qualities, I will demonstrate how it is used.